Hey guys, Ninja Boy here, and I'll be doing some short clips on how to solve few issues that we can encounter in Vroid and while importing into Blender. Okay, so so first and foremost, let's see how we can import things from Vroid into Blender. So here are these two custom models I made before. So. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna go with the default one and I'm gonna show you what exactly we have to do, okay? Now, if you are making, you know, custom models, it will work, uh, this method will work too, but there will be more things that I need to discuss in later videos, okay? So, once the mo model loads up, okay? Um, Suppose you made a custom model, okay? And you need to click on this upload type of button and click on export as VRM, okay? Just let it load for a moment, okay? Hmm. All right. Now, you don't have to worry about these things, okay? Ignore these. I mean, you could. Uh, reducing polygon does help with the, with the overall performance, but, you know, I never really touched these options or settings, okay? So, click on export. Give it some title. Doesn't really matter because you are just exporting it. All right? And... It will take a little bit of time to export. All right. Once it gets exported, um, for now I'm just gonna save it in my download folder. All right. So yeah. Okay. Once that's done, let's... Oh, sheesh. Please ignore the wallpaper. It's from Pokemon Reborn, okay? I was playing. Anyway. <laughs> but, um... What I want you guys to download right now is Blender 2.9 version, okay? I need you to download this version because this method works for 2.9. And, you know, if so far, so good. It's working with the latest v -Roy vroid studio version so it's totally fine don't think it even matters but um so i'm gonna give this link in the description so all you have to do is click over here click on hmm, donate okay i think it was Wait, hey, isn't it? No, okay. Why there is no option of that? 2.9? Okay, let me just check this. Okay, my bad, my bad. It's actually in previous versions. You need to click over here and download any blender. I'll just give you this this link directly in the description and you need to select 2.9 2.9 right here 2.9 okay I'm gonna give this link and choose the one option you could download as zip it won't really matter if you either go for go for either of them so yeah uh if you download as msi it will be in you know exe file but anyway um after install running the exe file and downloading it okay so um after uh after downloading it okay 
you might want to, you know, open Blender. So, okay. So I'm opening Blender right now, Blender 2.9. And when you open Blender, you'll see you'll see this interface right here okay now i need you to select everything with the by pressing the a key and hitting the delete option okay just click the delete button or you could either go for you know press x and then choose delete either work doesn't really matter anyway go let's go ahead and import our vrm file okay so for importing them you got to go to file import oh wait a minute do we import a vrm file right now you actually need some file beforehand okay so let's head back over here i'm gonna give a link okay link to this two files which you'll need for for you know importing as well as exporting your vrm as an fpx okay so yeah i need you to download these two files uh, these two zip files you don't need to extract them okay so uh, just you know click here and press download all right pretty easy stuff all right and now once you have downloaded them you'll have these two files right here all right so what do we do with these files well we are gonna add them to blender okay so what we'll do is head over back to blender click on edit okay click on edit preferences add-ons okay i hope i'm not going too fast okay click on add-ons and then hit install okay once you hit install you need to locate your file you can either wait a minute um okay just copy the directory hit this and boom just click on install add-on okay so mine is already installed so i don't need to click it but after you do that okay it will appear as search it out like for cats um you have to install these two files one at a time okay you can't just you know uh like you know first you check mark this one and select this one and click on install add-on and then after doing that uh after doing that it will appear as vrm export import import export you need one by play, uh, selecting this and hitting install and then it will appear as cast blender plugin and click on this check mark all right pretty simple now after doing that i need you to hit the end button okay when you hit the end button you'll see there is a import model I don't need i don't want you guys to import the model like this okay what i want you guys to do is click on file import there will be a new option vrm which was not there before by default all right so after doing that head over to where you exported the vrm file uh for me it's in the download folder so select the vrm file c.vrm Hit import. And then boom. Okay. Now what the heck is wrong with the texture? Well, you gotta go over here and viewport shedding. Okay. And voila, the textures are here. Okay, that's great. But do you notice something weird? Yeah, the rigs. They're all over the place. Doesn't it seem weird? We gotta fix that. So that's where the cat plugin comes into play. Okay. So I need you to guys to head over and click this wedge wedge button. I hope you guys can see it. It's right next to a fixed model button. So click on this 
and I need you to deselect every one of these options and only select um only select connect bones and fix material okay all right let me repeat connect bones and fix material so yeah and after doing that all you have to do is click on fix model it'll take a little bit of time be patient okay now it's done i think the rigs are still weird but anyway after that you select it select the armature as well as the mesh okay actually select everything okay after selecting everything click on export and select dot fpx okay now if you just you know click on export fbx it will show up without textures so to fix that we actually have to tell blender that we want it to export a uh, with texture so path mode you need to change from auto to copy and select this turn this on um i don't think this I don't think it matters if it's turned on or not the batch mode but anyway mm, i think we need just the armature and mesh all right and over in big animations make sure not big animation i mean the armature okay the armature option add leafy bones make sure this is turned on okay and then just hit on export i guess all right okay now i now head over to where you downloaded the the i mean not downloaded i mean exported the vrm file to fpx and click over here click over to the file and here we go we have a model exported of fpx pretty good right now why do we need fpx here well it's gonna come in handy when we are doing maximo animations okay you know it's pretty tiresome sometimes to you know rig models ourselves so the recommended option would be actually to you know you know just uh, import them and mix them animation and that way we can export the animation and you know have it in the blender and edit it even more okay so yeah that's the purpose all right so i hope you guys found this found this short tutorial useful do make sure to like and subscribe if you found it helpful i'll be making more tips and tricks about blender and vroid and I'll, I'll be coming up with a you know anime tutorial of how to make anime vroid models so you know make sure to check them out when i make them so yeah um that's all for now and i guess i'm gonna see you guys on my next next tutorial all right so yeah have a great journey and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.